Hey, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire. So, I trained up my party considerably. I ground for about 35 minutes and I was recording and I didn't realize that it would take 35 minutes. So, video does exist of that, but it's 35 minutes long. So, I'm just going to give you guys a run through of how my party has grown since then. We have Mikale the Torchic, who is now at level 12 as opposed to 11. Phantasm the Wingo, who is now at level not suck as opposed to suck. And by the way, I just noticed that Phantasm had a modest nature. So, I don't know how many of you guys know what natures do, but basically what the, what a nature does is it takes one of the stats here, attack, defense, special attack, special defense or speed, HP is unaffected by this, and it raises one stat by 10% at the cost of lowering another stat by 10%, and so modest is basically the best nature that a wingo could possibly have because it raises special attack by 10%, while lowering attack by 10%. Now, attack is something that Wingo is not really going to use because Wingo's main attacking moves are going to be of the water type, although I guess if he eventually learns wing attack, then that will prove to be less true, but maybe this will be an incentive for me not to give him a flying move, I don't know. But so, just thinking about how lucky it was for me to find a Wingo in the first place as my first Pokemon on Route 103, let alone a modest Wingo, I'm just completely in awe of how lucky that is. Like, I, I, I can't really believe. I, it's, I, it's just amazingly great, and I'm very happy about that. And finally, we have Ginkgo the Zigzagoon, who is still at level seven. He's picking up items that I have refused to allow myself to use. Um, his attack, as you can see, is 10, which is very low compared with um, Torchic's tw stats of 23, which are just, wow, way over everyone's head, and Phantasm's uh, special attack of 14. So, Zigzagoon's attack is 10, and it's low, and she hasn't been very good at killing things. This may eventually prove to be a bit of an issue, but hopefully um, she will learn head, but before that becomes a problem. So... That is my party at this point, and I am going to go west! And there are two routes between Petterburg City, which is where I am now, and Rustboro City, which is where I need to get for the first gym. So I am just going to go, and I am just going to do this, and let's see how it turns out. He is not a trainer. You can talk to him. It's okay. If you're going to throw a Pokeball Week in the Wild Pokemon first, Perfectly true advice. So there's grass here, which means there's another Pokemon for me here, but not now. I'm going this way. Um, she is thankfully not a trainer, although you might think that she is, because she kind of freaks you out. Um, if you go down that right way and you think she's a trainer, he is a trainer. Now, I remember what Pokemon he has. I think it is a Talo and a C Dot. Now, the C Dot is really annoying because it doesn't damage you directly. Instead, it uses Bide to attempt to make you die. So, my response to this is possibly incorrect, but my response to this is going to be using Ginkgo. And I will tell you why as we are going through. I don't remember if the Talo is first or if the C Dot is first, but Ginkgo can handle that C Dot. And here is why, because... Okay, good. That's less scary than I thought it would be. So, it's at level 6, so this is why. The Ging the C-Dot knows Harden and Bide. Now, what Bide does is it makes the C-Dot store energy for, for two turns. Now, the energy it stores is the damage inflicted upon it by my attacks. So, basically, what ordinarily happens and what killed me the first time I tried to battle this guy in Pokemon Sapphire when it first came out, like, ten years ago, oh my god, is it used Bide, it stored up energy, I attacked it for two turns, it almost died, but it didn't, and then... Bide retaliated, and this is what Bide does, by the way, this is the, the move Bide's function is, it takes all the damage that it was dealt to it over the past two turns, and it returns double that to me, so my starter got one-shotted by this C-Dot, it just is basically to sum it up. So what I'm going to do is, while it's using Bide, and just sort of wasting its time, because it can't do damage to me unless I do damage to it, I will use Tail Whip to lower its defense as far as it goes, which is after six uses of Tail Whip, then it won't go down anymore. And then I will attack it, and then I promise you, I will two hit... What just happened? How can its defense not go lower? I haven't used it six times. Wait, what? Wow, I have. It's been six times already. 
Okay then. I guess I overshot by a little because I wasn't paying very much attention, but okay. So I can promise you that I will two-shot it now, or I had better. So... That was really inconvenient. Well, I'm not going to risk it now, but that was that was possibly the most inconvenient time tackle could have missed. So, okay. I'm going to lower its attack because I have nothing better to do and wait for it to not attack me with bide because it can't damage me. And now I'm going to hit it with tackle and do massive amounts of damage to it. See, there we go. See, that is what should happen. And that would not have happened had I not... Oh, critical hit. Well, I guess that's fortunate. And now Ginkgo gains lots of experience, and that's good. And now I get freaked out because I don't know what to do about this. How much damage can it do to me? A lot is the answer. Enough to make me switch out is the answer. Enough to make me sort of panic is actually the answer. So, that thing could have killed me um, in a couple of shots, and I didn't realize it would be that good, and... It was really kind of irresponsible of me for me to leave uh, Ginkgo in there in the first place, but luckily, this Talo does not seem particularly intent on making Mikale die, so yeah, I can get away with that. So, okay. Oh, fair enough. I got a level out of it. That's decent. A decent price to pay for seven um, hit points of damage. Okay. So, uh, that's fair enough. I've defeated him... What does he do? He's not a trainer. I wonder what it's like at the bottom of the sea. Ooh, spooky foreshadowing. This house belongs to Mr. Briny, which, who is a sailor who will come in plot-related handiness soon, but he is not here at the moment. So, not much I can do about that. Um, what I'm going to do now is take Ginkgo out of first position, because the idea of him being in first position freaks me out. Because he has a tendency to die. Or, my Pokemon have a tendency to die anyways. Berries that I can't get. Um, this is Rich Boy Winston. He has a four star, and this is the first trainer in the game that will use an item on you as we continue on. Like the gym leader specifically will use items on you. Now I don't know if he still uses an item on me if, say, Mikale's Ember happens to be a one hit KO on this, which I don't think it is. But see, right here he's probably using his four. Oh no, I'm sorry. His AI is too bad. He did have a full restore. He, he does have a full restore. That I can promise. So now I've just brutally charbroiled his Pokemon. There's some things money can't buy. That's Pokemon. Um, I'm going to try to catch my Pokemon now. And this is a full heal that I'm never going to use. Even if something horrible happens. And here's my Pokemon. And I'm not looking, and I'm not looking, and I'm not looking, and I'm not looking. And it's a Zigzagoon. Okay. This is good for backup in case something horrible happens to Ginkgo, and as I have said previously, horrible things have an unfortunate tendency of happening to my Zigzagoons specifically. So, okay. Am I ready to throw a Pokeball now? I'm not, I'm, okay. This should be good, and it better be good, because I'm not trusting that I'm going to live much longer if this doesn't work, so... What should I name him? And now I will begin to ponder names. Actually, I already got a name. Your name is going to be Lily. I don't know why, but your name is going to be Lily, and I'm probably never going to use you. But that shall be your name! Because you are... Okay, so, with that done, I now have two Zigzagoons, one of whom is likely to not be very useful, but that is that. And now, I head into Petalburg Woods. Um, I think I'm just going to save here for the time being. I don't know how long that's been. It feels like it's been in the neighborhood of ten minutes, so I'm just going to save here. And until next time, this has been Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire. Alright, I will see you later.